Listen up, Misaki. You really wanted to keep me at three damage, huh? Well, I've got bad news for you. Huh? I call Explosion Scientist Boonta! This skill is gonna blow you away. Counter Blast! <laughs> Boonta damaged me. Limit Break online! <gasps> What's this? No, Lee has just dealt one damage to himself! Such an ingenious way of giving himself the fourth point needed to activate a limit break this turn. my rear guard to prevent me from accessing my limit break. Wow, you really thought that was a good strategy? <sighs> it seems I made a grave error in my initial assessment of Japanese card fighters. I'm shocked that someone of your level could become a national champion. Or maybe your teammates have the real talent. You don't know me, but you're right. My friends are extremely talented. Your friends? Well, that explains why you're so awful. <sighs> You're a little slow, so I'll explain it. Your teammates are not your friends. They're actually your enemies. Uh, enemies? Precisely. As card fighters, it's our goal to attain a level of skill that lets us crush any opponent, even if that person is a teammate. Especially if that person is a teammate. It's game over! And once again, the SIT student champion is Christopher Lowe! <laughs> Nicely done, Chris! Insane! That's your third straight championship! Thanks for the great fight, Lee. <laughs> huh? Lee? No fair! I was supposed to be student champion! You need to chill out, huh? dude. Ollie! <laughs> There's no reason to beat yourself up. That game was actually really close. A loss is a loss. Whatever, man. You're not the only one that lost out there. But if you're all broken up about it, why don't we go check out that new car shop? The girl that works there has a crush on me. Or at least she will once we meet. <laughs> you're the worst, Ollie. Huh? And you came in third place after suffering a loss to Chris in the semifinals. What could you possibly have to laugh about? I'd say the two of us have a lot of reasons to be happy. By placing in the top three, you and I just earned a spot on the school team. So we'll be getting a chance to play in the VF circuit. Imagine how popular... That does not make us friends. You remember that. Fine then. Suit yourself, Lee. I'm gonna head to that card shop. Catch you later, teammate. <laughs> I 
come from one of the richest families in Singapore. The men in my family are renowned for their determination to succeed, and I, I am going to walk beside them someday. In order to make that happen, I hold myself to the highest personal standards possible. Failure is never an option for me, either in Vanguard or in everyday life. Armed Instructor Bison's Counter Blast! Pencil Squire Hamske is powered up! With a boost from Silver Wolf, Acorn Master attacks! Dream Eater will guard that! Boosted by Thumbtack Fighter, Bison attacks! I don't guard. Twin Drive. <laughs> Pencil Squire lends his support to my explosion scientist. I don't guard. <clears throat> this Pencil Squire was empowered by my vanguard and must go to the drop zone, but using his counter blast, I add a copy of Pencil Squire to my hand. There. You get another copy when he leaves play? Hmm. There's nothing that can stop me when I'm in pursuit of my dreams! I activate Armed Instructor Bison's Limit Break! Yeah! I flip over two cards from the damage zone. Oh, that's allowed? It's like a refund on his other skills. And that's not the worst of it, huh? That explosion scientist has another troubling ability. Oh. Boom to damage me earlier, but he's the kind of guy who likes to make up for his mistakes. At the start of my end phase, I can take one card from the damage zone and shuffle it into my deck. That easy, I'm back to three damage. <laughs> it's your turn. Not that it really matters. Seriously, what a dirty move. The action is really heating up in this bout, but let's take a moment and check in on the action of one of our other battles. Look, we're back to the great one! About time, yo! Sitting at five damage. Kamui's gonna have to work really hard if he wants to pull out the win here. He should be trying to end the game, but his opponent still has a full hand of cards he'll be able to use against him. There's no way he'll win. How dare you! Who do you think you are talking about him that way? Well, you don't have to take my word for it. Look for yourselves. Kamui's up against some near-impossible odds. Huh, that means a lot coming from the expert on losing. And smelling. My body odor has been a lot better these last couple days. Your breath smells like you brush your teeth with a mix of onions and garlic. Hey, your armpits smell like the basement furnace in an anchovy factory. Yeah, well, at least I don't stink as bad as Kamui in this card fight. <laughs> Knock it off! You bullies! I treat you so nice and this is what I get in return! Let it go, man! You treat us nice? By insulting our friend? Knock it off! Uh, okay. Sorry about that. We'll sit down. Sorry, Emmy. Our bad, yo. That's what I thought. Mm. She refuses to take her eyes off this battle. I've never seen her cheer for Kamui with such passion before. I knew it! She loves him! Why can't they just hurry up and switch to Aichi's match? Boosted by Tough Boy, Black Tortoise attacks Binoculus Tiger! Ruler Chameleon puts a stop to that attempt. With a boost from White Tiger, Azure Dragon is charging in at your vanguard! Nullified thanks to Cable Sheep. Uh, checking twin drive. All right, a stand trigger. Tortoise is back up with another 5,000 power. I forced him to use three cards from his hand. Since he has to try and finish me off this turn, I'd say he can't afford to guard anymore. Let's see. Get him, Moai! Blast that binoculus tiger! Activating his skill! One, two, three, four, five cards! Adding this copy of Azure Dragon to my hand and I pass the turn back to you! Taking out my rear guard was clever. It hurt my strategy a bit. However, this game is already decided and your dream girl belongs to me. Witness the power of nature. The laws of the wild. I said before, I don't care if you have the paws of a child. Just imagine it. Me and your dream girl holding hands. <laughs> you jerk! Well.
Well, he sure worked up. <laughs> He's in pain. Huh? <laughs> Kamui, you have to stay strong. <laughs> For our sakes. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's got six cards in hand, and one of them is an Azure Dragon. So that card's useless to him. He can't guard. I figure he has three cards with a 5,000 shield and one with a 10,000. Which means that even if that last card is another 10,000, <laughs> I get cooler every day. Time to show you why I'm the most popular guy in Singapore. <gasps> with Magnet Crocodile, Bringer of Knowledge Locks, Triangle Cobra, as well as Pencil Knight Hamske, call! Then with my Vanguard Persona Blast, adding 4,000 popularity plus one attractiveness to Pencil Knight. Bringer of Knowledge supports Magnet Crocodile's attack. But that's not all. He also gains another 2,000 popularity. You won't take any from me! Fighting Battleship Prometheus will guard! Hmm. Suit yourself with a boost from Cobra Guardian of Truth attacks. Breaking news flash, reporter and battle razor guard. Oh, we'll see about that. Critical trigger, giving both effects to Pencil Knight. This is the end. With Pencil Squire's boost, the popularity of Pencil Knight will crush you. Sending Army Guy and Shout to guard that! Plus this intercept from Tortoise! <sighs> Whoa! You did it! Not bad, little guy. <sighs> Think we won Nationals by chance? I call Shout an Azure Dragon! Boosted by Tough Boy, my rear guard Azure Dragon attacks! I don't guard. With White Tiger's support, my Vanguard is coming in! Triangle Cobra says otherwise. If he doesn't draw a trigger here, then I'm safe, and his dream girl will be assimilated into my flock of fans. Twin drive check, the first. Hmm. Second check, online, a stand trigger! Huh? No way! Tough Boy will stand up! The power boost goes to my vanguard! Listen up, Mr. Popular! You were trying to mess with my dreams! Now welcome to your nightmare! Uh, but I've worked so hard to make myself seem cool! Oh, that stand trigger just broke my heart. Aww. There you have it, folks. Team Q4's Kamui Katsuragi has claimed the first victory of the day. All right, there's something I need to say to a very special lady back home. Hey, Emmy, if you're... Huh? The remote isn't a cat toy. <laughs> I'm on it. Okay, manager, pause off of that. <laughs> Let me get the sound back. <laughs> nice timing there, boss. <laughs> Real treat to Volume. see. Volume. <laughs> and the fun is far from over. <laughs> You look pretty happy. <sighs> Winner! Don't tell me Aichi and Misaki are still fighting in there. They are, which means you and I have a bit of a wait. No prob. Good luck, guys. You're gonna need it. Card fight Vanguard! Asha and friends are finally here. Let's begin with these decks. Three types of Vanguard Trial Decks, now on sale. Bushy Road. The three clans get their new trump cards. Manifest before me. Chrono Dragon next stage. Vanguard the next stage, now on sale. Special clan packs too. Bushy Road. I stand and draw. I don't care how much damage he has. I need to hit him as hard as I can. Hm. 
Amaterasu's Soul Charge. Checking the top card of my deck. Mm. Looks like I'll be putting that one back on top. Call Evil Eye Princess Uriley. Card bind. Uriley attacks Explosion Scientist Boonta. Gauchi! <laughs> Boosted by Goddess of the Crescent Moon, Amaterasu attacks. I don't guard! But are you ready for my twin drive? There's the critical trigger I was expecting. I assumed that was what you put on top. I'll give the power bonus to my rear guard, Amaterasu, and the critical to my vanguard. The second check? Since I have over four cards in my hand, my vanguard gains another 4,000. Push to five damage. With a boost from Dark Cat, Amaterasu takes aim. Cobra and Fortune Bringing Cat will guard that. He had so many cards in his hand, I knew I wouldn't finish him this turn. But... I've got 30,000 to guard with, and I'm at four damage. I can still do this. Please tell me you're not lying to yourself. <sighs> it's naive to think you can win. Explosion Scientist takes the stage as Acorn Master makes his exit. And then I call Pencil Hero and Pencil Squire. And now, Arm Destructor Bison, Counter Blast! Adding 4,000 power to Silver Wolf, using it again. Adding 4,000 power to Pencil Hero! Two counter blasts in one turn doesn't seem very fair. This means he'll be able to attack with 20,000 power from the left and right side. This is it. Boosted by Thumbtack Fighter, Bison charges in! It's a dangerous move, but I don't have any other options. I don't guard. Twin drive. First check. And second check. My vanguard will keep the critical effect. The power will be going to Boonta. The winner of this bout from Team SIT Genius, Lee Shedlong! Sounds like one of them just finished. Yep. Hmm? Oh, Misaki? I lost. Huh. Hmm. You won, right? Obviously. Good. That means we're tied with them. Hang on. Did you lose? Yeah. Turns out being super popular isn't as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> it's all up to Chris. You say that as though there's a chance of him losing. Hey, what's the deal? I wouldn't think you'd have so much faith in him. Don't be silly. His defeat will come at my hands, and no one is going to beat him before I get the chance. Simple as that. Whatever. Another loss. What is it that I'm doing wrong? We're gonna be fine. You know Aichi will win the last game for the team, so let's just uh. chill here and wait for him. Oh, sure. Just one match left between Team Q4 and Team SIT Genius. It comes down to Aichi Sendo and Christopher Lowe, who will take control of this and move their team into the next round. I expect this to be a close one. No doubt, Doctor. Uh, oh. <laughs> I stand and draw. Aichi Sendo, are you listening? I know that voice. Aichi Sendo! <gasps> What's this about? Who's saying my name? So you heard it too? <laughs> I don't like the look of this.
Huh? What is this? Where are we? I'm pretty sure I've been here before. Welcome, <clears throat> vanguards of Earth. Huh? Hey, wait! Yes, my name is Takuto Tatsunagi. I'm the major sponsor of the VF circuit. Well, yeah, everyone knows that. Is this another one of your stunts to boost the ratings? We were in the middle of a card fight. What are we doing here? You're standing on Planet Cray. Uh -huh. Most people will never see it with their own eyes. The Psyqualia you possess made this possible. Psyqualia? It's time for you to focus and activate the power hidden within you. Embrace your gift and you will be able to save my people. Ugh. On the third attack. This power will let you connect with the cards in a whole new way as you access your image of victory. Image of victory? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not able to tell you anymore for the time being. If you're interested in getting the full story, I'd suggest you keep winning at the VF circuit. Sorry, folks. Seems the power was cut to our cameras. I assure you, though, that we have the best people working on it. So this is how it begins. I'm telling you, just let me punch the TV a couple of times. You're gonna break it. You wouldn't want to make the manager upset. Must punch technology. <laughs> <laughs> You know I can't I'm do worried. that! Let's just take a deep breath, okay, guys? <laughs> Sorry about the wait, folks, but it appears our cameras are finally up and running again. Look here. They must have realized there was a technical problem because they stopped their fight and we didn't miss a thing. Equipment failure at a crucial time and we still get to see the whole fight? I'd say this is our lucky day. <gasps> I feel the power flowing through me. Are you all right? Your defeat is gonna come with a third strike of my Leopold's blade. This is the image I've been shown, thanks to the power of Psyqualia. <gasps> Aichi Sendo, I hereby declare, I'm gonna crush you and there's nothing you can do. <laughs> <laughs>
Man, I can't believe I almost lost Emmy to that guy. Huh? What exactly happened in your card fight? Let's just say I followed my heart, and now everyone around the world knows that I, Kamui Katsuragi, am proud to be... <gasps> oh no! I told Emmy I loved her on TV, and we haven't even been on a date yet! <laughs> Don't worry about it, Kamui. Next time, the advent of a genius. What's this image Chris is showing me? Is he using Psyqualia? <laughs> you okay? I feel it, flowing through me. I've witnessed your defeat accompanying the third strike of my Leopold's blade. That's the image I've been shown, thanks to the gift of Psyqualia. Uh -huh. Aichi Sendo, listen to what I say. I'm going to crush you with this new power of mine. <laughs> You saw the same thing as I did. So what'd you think of my winning image? <laughs> winning image? That's so strange. I could feel it. The planet Cray. It's in trouble. Such an odd feeling. I almost remember it. Like a part of me that somehow got lost. It could only be one thing. My Psyqualia has come back. No, you need to be careful about how you plan to use this power. And what is that supposed to mean? Oh, well, it's just, you shouldn't rely on it too much. Huh. I should have guessed you'd be afraid of Psyqualia. What a fool. This'll take me to a level beyond my reach. It's an enhancement of my abilities. You and I were lucky enough to receive this gift. Honestly, I don't really care if you decide to use Psyqualia or not, because I'm gonna play my hardest no matter what you do. I ride Knight of Superior Skills, Bowman. Knight of Elegant Skills, Gareth. Moving Gareth and Criff to the soul, activating Criff's ability. It fires, burning bright in the righteous soul. Superior ride. Incandescent lion, blonde Ezel. <laughs> Calling Silver Fang Witch and I soul blast. Drawing one card. Next up, I call Bowman and Little Battler Tron. With three gold paladins in the rear guard, your vanguard gains another 3,000 power. Boosted by Silver Fang Witch, Bowman attacks Flask Marmoset. <laughs> Getting a boost from Tron. Go Blondezel, take him out! Attacking Monoculus Tiger! Thanks to Tron's skill, he gains another 4,000 power on this hit. I have no reason to guard against this one. Twin drive check. Ah! I end my turn. <laughs> Let's go. I stand these back up and draw. Check out my compass line. Ride! Then I call Geograph Giant and Coiling Duckbill. using Duckbill's skill on Pencil Squire Hamscape. If he moves to the drop zone at end of turn, I can draw a card. And with his support, my Geograph Giant attacks Bowman. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah! Boosted by Duckbill, Compass Lion attacks your vanguard. I'm not gonna guard. Checking for drive trigger. He's gonna stop just short of four damage. Seems so. This'll prevent the use of limit breaks on Aichi's turn. Andy took out a powerful rear guard unit at the same time. 
You're kidding, right? Having less damage means you're winning the game. <laughs> no, it's not quite that simple. Whatevs. <laughs> calling Battlefield Tempest Sagramore, as well as Slagle Sword and Knight of Elegant Skills Gareth. With five paladins in the rear guard, Ezel gets another 5,000 power. And then, with a boost from Tron, Ezel attacks your vanguard. No guard. Twin drive. First check. Second check. It's a critical trigger. Power goes to Sagramore, but my vanguard will hold on to the critical effect. What a huge hit! Aichi Sendo manages to deal two damage on a single attack! What an unfortunate turn of events for Q4. Really? I'm not sure if I follow what you're saying, Dr. O. Sendo still has two units to send in this turn. Chris only has one rearguard unit. So even if he decides to take out the Geograph Giant next, he'll still have one attack left for the Vanguard. Yes, and that would be bad because... Because Chris is guaranteed to hit four damage this turn and gain access to his limit break. I can't afford to turn down the intensity. Who cares about limit breaks? I'm hitting his vanguard with everything. With a boost from Gareth, Slagle Sword attacks Compass Lion. I don't guard. <laughs> Silver Fang Witch gives her boost to the battlefield Tempest Sagramore, charging in at your vanguard. Activating Sagramore's Counter Blast. That's another 3,000 power. I'll take it. Ah! Yeah! Way to go, Aichi! He pushed him to five damage! We almost got this! Yeah, but his opponent doesn't look like he's especially worried right now. Huh? He took all that punishment on purpose. <sighs> Run through the darkness and cut through my foes. Cower in fear of the hunter, Leopold. Let's ride! That's Leopold. Calling Compass Lion and Pencil Squire Hamskate to rear guard. My Geograph Giant attacks Slagle Sword. <laughs> Hitting my rear guard? You defending or not? <laughs> I'm not gonna guard. <laughs> Supported by Duckbill, Leopold attacks Ezel. Using Leopold's skill, 4,000 powers added to Pencil Squire. Twin drive. Stand trigger online. Geograph Giant is back up with another 5,000 power. Checking damage. Boosting Ezel's power. Geograph Giant attacks oh. Sagramore. <laughs> ah! Backed by Pencil Squire, Compass Lion is charging in. I guard. Flame of victory. Fine, then let's begin the end phase. With Compass Lion's skill, I drop Pencil Squire and activate his Counter Blast. I search my deck and add another copy of Pencil Squire to my hand. And then... Give me the strength to break through as I call my comrades back from beyond. Activating the Hunter Leopold. Limit break! <sighs> Thanks to Leopold's limit break, any units that were dropped in my end phase can be called back to the battlefield. Rise again. Pencil Squire Hamske! How spectacular! Dropping Pencil Squire, he draws a card and activates his Counter Blast. Mm -hmm. Normally, you would suffer the downside of losing a unit, but thanks to that limit break, he's vastly increased his battle potential. Something worth taking note of is that even though Pencil Squire was returned to the battlefield there, it should still technically have to exit due to the power boost it received from Leopold earlier. However, since this unit is returning from the drop zone, all other effects on it are cancelled, meaning that Chris gets to keep both copies of Pencil Squire Hamske. 
Interesting. Indeed. Determination, drive, and his superior intellect are the keys to Chris's strategy right now as he takes control of this card fight with stunning combo plays. I didn't really understand half the things you just said, but this is a great matchup. No, it's not great. It's awesome. All the pressure is on Aichi Sendo here. Does he have what it takes to bring this game to an end? Nothing stands in my way. Incandescent Lion Blonde Ezel! Limit Break! Wow, he's turned up the intensity with a break of his own! I can't believe what I'm seeing! It keeps getting better! Counter Blast! Player of the Holy Axe, Nimue. Superior Call! Adding her 7,000 power to Ezel this turn. Nimue and Silver Fang Witch switch positions, and I call Sagamore. Back to five gold paladin units, Ezel gains 5,000 power. My word! Ezel is up to 22,000 power, not including his support unit. This is a textbook struggle between the Great Nature Clan, which specializes in card draw, and the gold paladins that possess a huge potential for damage thanks to the strength of their limit breaks. It comes down to this, the sword versus the shield. It's way too close to call. Who will win? Let's find out after this break. Vai Schwartz. Come join Rimuru as it embarks on a new life journey as a slime on the stage of Vai Schwartz. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Trial deck plus and booster pack. Coming soon. Bushy Road. Vai Schwartz. A new challenger appears. Come join us as we band together to fulfill our dreams through our music. Race of Swayland, Trial Deck Plus, and Bang Dream Volume 2 Booster Pack. Now on sale, Bushy Road. With support from Tron, let's go Blonde Ezel. Thanks to Tron's skill, he's up to 32,000 power. <laughs> Dictionary Goat, Eraser Alpaca, and Geograph Giant will guard. <sighs> Twin Drive check. The first. And second. No help from the cards this time. Not done. Boosted by Gareth, Sagramore attacks Leopold. Activating Sagramore's Counter Blast for 3,000 ah! power. Duckbill will guard. And I'm going to intercept with Geograph Giant and Compass Line. Even with the limit break, he couldn't get any damage through. That pipsqueak just used seven cards to guard against Aichi's attack! If only he'd pulled the trigger on the twin drive! That's the world I want to live in! But don't whine about what could have been. All that's left for us to do is to see how this game plays out. Aichi... Calling Leopold, Triangle Cobra, and Magnet Crocodile. With Cobra support, my rear guard Leopold attacks your vanguard. I don't guard. Ah! And with that, both our fighters are tied at five damage. Oh, Aichi Sendo is showing extreme calm in the face of this next assault. Perhaps this is a signal that he's got enough in his hand to survive the turn. With these cards, even if he draws a critical trigger... It's over. <laughs> you failed to prevent me from reaching my winning image. I warned you that the hunter Leopold's blade would glitter three times. Boosted by Duckbill, my vanguard attacks Ezel. Using Leopold's skill on Pencil Squire. I'll nullify that using Halo Shield Mark! <laughs> Twin Drive Check, the first. Second Check. <laughs> Stand trigger online. <gasps> Amazing. The power of Psyqualia. This strength flows through me because I am Vanguard's chosen fighter. Stop! The power you feel. It's not your own, Chris. You need to remember that. Can you hear yourself right now? Pathetic! <clears throat> you hate that Psyqualia chose me to win. But not using this gift was your own fault. 
That's enough talk. My rear guard Leopold stands with another 5,000 power. It's exactly as I said. Three times! <sighs> I'm not gonna guard. You're expecting a heel trigger to swoop in and save you. But your paladins won't be able to stop me from reaching my winning image. <laughs> oh. I check for a damage trigger. <laughs> Weapons dealer Gwydion. A draw trigger was all you could manage. <laughs> and this ferocious showdown has finally come to an end. The winner from Team SIT Genius, Christopher Lowe. The group moving on to the next round with two wins to their name. It's SIT Genius! <sighs> <laughs> Three attacks from Leopold in the same turn, just like I was shown. Nobody on Earth can stop me. Hmm. Interesting. We have witnessed the birth of another card fighter worthy of Psyqualia. Christopher Lowe. By accepting this gift today, you've taken hold of your own destiny. Are you prepared to lead us? And you? What role will you play, Aichi Sendo? The time to act is drawing close. Huh. I was really rooting for him. He had no chance. The only way he could have won that game is if he activated his Psyqualia again. That's not true. <laughs> if you want to fight, you caught it! Wow. Meow. He's telling you to have a little respect for her feelings. Huh? Hmm. Uh. Thanks, guys. I'm good. You can turn the TV back on. And the audience continues to applaud this amazing card fighter as he makes the long walk back to You're so team. strong, Aichi. I know you'll be okay. Team Q4, the Japanese national champions falling short of their goal. I failed. This was my one chance at learning the truth about the missing clans. I wanted to find out why everyone had forgotten them. <laughs> you gotta cheer up a bit, bro. Uh, I'm trying to. I know you're sad that you lost your match, but we'll get revenge when we hit the next stop on the circuit. Huh? Really? I thought you already knew that. This Singapore tournament is just the first round of the VF circuit, which means there's still a whole bunch of other countries left for us to visit. <laughs> When we accepted the invitation, we agreed to play in every tournament they can throw at us. That means... You and I are gonna get a chance to redeem ourselves. Great news, wouldn't you say? For sure. It's not over yet. <sighs> We're just getting started. You wanna say that again? <clears throat> I said he should be embarrassed that he lost to someone at this level. Because if you can't win your games, then you don't deserve to play for Team SIT Genius, do you? Problem? Why, you? Whoa, chill <gasps> out. It's cool. And let him trash you like that? Where's your self-respect? Well, it is true that I probably should have won that game. Stop giving in! Lee, <gasps> you were able to achieve what was expected of you. I'm so pleased. Quiet! I'll see you guys later. I'm out of here. Seriously? Hey, Chris is our leader. He has every right to chew me out after a loss because that's not good for the team. <laughs> His eyes. There's something different about the way they look. At long last, ladies and gentlemen, we finally reached the championship battle here at BF Circuit Singapore. Let's take a look at our undefeated team, starting with the former Japanese champions, Team Caesar. They'll be facing Singapore's pride and joy. Let's hear it for them, folks. Team SIT Genius. You're a slow learner, so how about a lesson from the most popular guy in Singapore? Glass is in session. Guardian of Truth locks. I've been defeated. Ah. 
According to our agreement, your sister's now a member of my fan club. This is the end! Get in there, Bison! <laughs> It wasn't even a challenge. <laughs> Surely we can get one win out of them. Kote. You're very strong, Chris. Wish I could say the same for you. And that's precisely why I'll be enrolling at your school. I understand. Go, Leopold. As student champion at SIT, I extend my hand in welcome. You've still got a lot left to learn. But by the time you get there, I'll be long gone. Losing this one really hurt, but there's always next time. That's crazy! Not even Team Caesar was able to stand up to those little brats. Uh, what a huh? pain. Didn't they learn anything from what I taught him at training camp? There he goes again. He's so detached from reality, I think we need to give him a new name. Dreamy Kawa. You hold your tongues! <laughs> Time huh? to focus that passion on some what car a fighting, you guys. Aichi's still smiling. <laughs> Those guys got invited to that dinner party! It's no fair! I love food the most! Oh, yeah? Uh... Well, gang, let's go pack. <sighs> sure. I'll find a way to meet him. Then I'll finally learn the truth. SIT genius. They were incredible. What a tough match. Don't worry, gang. The circuit has only just begun. So let's head back home for a bit and brush up on our card fighting skills. Yes. Yeah. You know, I bet the assista cat's been hard at work this whole time. Meow. What a responsible cat. Hey, have you seen Kai? I wonder where he could be. Next time, challenger at the snow fields. I can picture him on an arduous journey and stronger than ever before. Huh? We're home! <laughs> Welcome back! This place wasn't the same without you. Miss me? Hey, Miwa, thanks so much. 
no problem. You guys were great at the circuit. Made us all proud. Well, losing wasn't great, but those other teams haven't heard the last out of Q4. <laughs> That's the kind of attitude we need right now, Kamui. And for you, sir. Oh, thanks a lot. Ah, <sighs> uh, Kai isn't here. Huh? I haven't seen him since you guys left for Singapore. Why is that? Don't tell me he's playing at another shop. Well, I've tried looking for him in his usual hangouts, but it's like he's vanished or something. Uh, don't worry about him. That's just the kind of guy he is. He never stops looking for bigger and better challenges. And if I know Kai, he's out there training. Training? Really? Ha! As if he needs training. He's always showing off. <laughs> So, who wants to see me open my gift? It's kind of heavy. Could be some candy or maybe a t-shirt. Get <gasps> lost. But please, sir, I've, I've traveled all this way to confirm these recent sightings for myself. Mm -hmm. If you're living up here, you've probably seen him. He's called Yeti. Americans call him Bigfoot. Canadians named him Sasquatch. And there are others. He's the unidentified creature of legend, the abominable snowman. I'm Robert Finley from the Center of Mysterious Animals. I'm on a research mission, and I'd like you to take a look That's at That's enough! No, not the face! <gasps> I've come for Bigfoot. <laughs> Yet another tourist in search of their doom. Let me guess, you've come for research too? I'm here for a fight. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm right behind you. This is where the great beast has been sighted, but only when there's a card fighter waiting to challenge him. <gasps> really? Are you certain he'll appear? of white fur. <gasps> My recorder! <laughs> no chance. You're trying to anger him. But what about my findings? What? No! Wait! Hey! Hmm? You'll need this. Figure system. You ready? Cause here we go. So Bigfoot likes to play card fight Vanguard? I heard the abominable snowman was defeating famous card fighters from all over the world. I'll see for myself. A young whippersnapper like you will never be able to defeat him. Yes, I will. What? I came because I know... I can win. <laughs> Stand up. The Vanguard. <laughs> Spike Brothers. What an incredible discovery! There's so much I still need to learn about this creature! He has an obsession with playing Vanguard, and he's undefeated! 
odd. I can feel a certain intensity emanating from him. There's only one person I know who gives off that vibe. Draw! Then he rides Wonder Boy! Mecha Trader moves! It's my turn. I ride the Vanguard. Red River Dragoon. Saishin moves, and I call Lizard Soldier Riki. Red River Dragoon will attack Wonder Boy. Uh, no guard! Drive check. Uh, uh, a draw trigger! I can't see! That mask is getting in your way. So how about you remove it and we start taking this match seriously? Kyo Yahagi. <sighs> <laughs> I won't be needing this anymore. Well, that figures. Should have known that you of all people would see through my disguise, Toshiki Kai. Oh, and what was that name you just called me? The Kyo Yahagi you used to know doesn't exist anymore. When Team Asteroid kicked me out, every card fighter in Japan was eager to turn their back on me. So I went and changed my name and my image. Yeah! Say hello to the Neo Crusher! Hear that? He's Bigfoot Kyo. Drop the Kyo! Uh, sorry about that. He calls himself Neo Crusher Bigfoot? Check it! My team has fought its way around the world, and we're stronger than ever. Using a timeless legend as bait, we've defeated every card fighter that's come our way. And we've taken out the best on the planet, and word spread. <laughs> I knew it'd only be a matter of time before I faced you. Cause everybody knows that you'd never pass up a chance to face an unknown challenge. <laughs> How does it feel to know you've fallen into my trap? Our target from the start was none other than you, Kai. Here's the deal. My team and I have a plan in the works. Called Project Yeti. The first step? Travel the world and improve our vanguard skills. Step two, by using Bigfoot, we defeat Toshiki Kai. <laughs> you see, if I can take you out, then my dreams will no longer be out of my reach. We'll take this plan to step three. Champion of the VF circuit. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> And now all the pieces are finally falling into place. Today, I'm gonna take care of step two. That's right! I'm gonna crush you in this card fight! Yeah? Will it be that easy? <clears throat> you staying? This battle isn't gonna help you research much. No way. Huh. Their passion for the game is at a superhuman level. <sighs> there must be a reason behind this. Some science, perhaps. Well, these look so good. Meow. Huh? Oh, you want some? Huh? He's a cat. I'm sure his sister cat would prefer kitty food, wouldn't he? Meow. Ah, where are your manners? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to ask before we left Singapore, but you bring any presents back for people? Oh, a few things. Let's see, just some dried flowers and fruit-flavored tea. Really? Are they for your sister? <laughs> you defeated me once, but I'm not that guy anymore. Check it out! A moving mountain of steel! Demonic Lord, Dudley Emperor, Neo Crusher, ride! <laughs> My deck's much stronger than it used to be, and this Dudley Emperor is no exception. That's the unit I'm gonna beat you with. <laughs> Call! Treasured Black Panther attacks Garuda! <laughs> Boosted by Wonder Boy, Dudley Emperor attacks Dragonic Deathside! 
And with my Vanguard's ability, another 3,000 power. Twin drive check. Okay, Juggernaut, let's go! He scored two damage on that turn alone. You're completely helpless to stop me. Face it, you don't have what it takes to beat Neo Crusher Bigfoot. <laughs> New cards featuring popular units are coming to Vanguard. Which unit will you want on your side? Let's card fight with Vanguard now! Don't forget to look out for this! Bushy Road! New cards featuring popular units are coming to Vanguard! Which unit will you want on your side? Let's card fight with Vanguard now! Don't forget to look out for this! Bushy Road! Draw! Break through the cage that imprisons your power. Being of thunder, I ride the Vanguard! Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion! Call! With my Hex Cannon Wyvern, I attack the Emperor. Nice try, Kai, but I can guard that with a cheerful Lynx! Boosted by Photon Bomber Wyvern. Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion! <sighs> Twin Drive. <laughs> with Riki's boost, Saishin is coming in! Black Panther, get in there and intercept! To you. <laughs> One damage, is that the best you can do? Time to face facts, man. You just don't have what it takes to defeat me now that I've gotten better. <laughs> what do you say I put you out of your misery? <laughs> Final turn! Nice! nice. Final turn! I call! High Speed Bracky comes racing in, and his Soul Blast gives him 5,000 power. Hex Cannon Wyvern intercepts. With Bracky's skill, I place him back into my deck. Let's go maximum! And I boost his power with a Soul Blast. My Juggernaut skill returns him into the deck as well. Neo Crusher has dealt some damage to him. But now his front row is open on both sides! <laughs> That's the way we want it. <laughs> Two more damage and you're washed up, Kai! I'm gonna destroy you with the most amazing technique at my disposal. Boosted by Wonder Boy, my Dudley Emperor attacks your vanguard. His skill grants 3,000 power. And here's the best part. Neo Crusher Bigfoot Limit Break! Counter Blast! Moving two cards from my hand to the soul. <laughs> Using this ability lets me take two cards from my deck and call them onto the battlefield, standing and ready to rumble. Superior call! Counter Blast! Dudley Douglas gains another 5,000 power! Any last words? This technique defeated the world's strongest! The Neo Avalanche Crusher! Why else would I have bothered clearing out those two spots in the front row? This gives me three attacks, more than enough to put you away. That powerful limit break is our ultimate move! You see that? When Kyo called in those reinforcements, the look on Kai's face was hilarious. No way! How will he pull through? There isn't a person alive that could stop that assault! What'll happen? This is the end. 
Crush him, Emperor! With Wyvern Guard Gold, it's nullified! What? Nullifying my Vanguard. <sighs> Checking Twin Drive. A critical trigger! All effects go to Douglas, and he's coming in with a boost from the Reckless Express! Yellow Gem Carbuncle and Demonic Dragon Nymph will guard. Yes! Juggernaut, get in there! <laughs> My Neo Avalanche Crusher only dealt him one damage? There's no way. Kai's the first to stop him. It's truly remarkable. Kai. You need to learn huh? what a limit break is supposed to look like. Final turn. <laughs> Saishin withdraws. Call. And again. Limit break. Adding 2,000 power to my Vanguard. And his next attack will hit your entire front row. Witness my Vermilion Thunderbolt! Uh, uh. Boosted by Photon Bomber, Vermilion Strikes. His skill adds another 4,000 power. Uh. By sending a card to the drop zone, I nullify the attack using Marilyn. Twin drive check. The first. And second, it's there, a critical trigger. All effects going to my rear guard vermilion. Here it is, bow before his thunderbolt! <laughs> you mean I only nullified the part of the attack that hit my vanguard? Without a grade two unit in your front row, there's nothing else you can do to stop my next move. <sighs> Did you forget? This is a critical. <sighs> Limit breaks can make you stronger, but there will always be someone else better than you are. <sighs> Kai. Huh? The ice! Run! Not a chance. I'm going to let the attack through, but I can still draw triggers to get me out of this. I refuse to give up. What do you mean? You guys better go, because I've already decided. I'm never going to run away. This is my dream. <sighs> no way. It can't be. They're both going to risk their lives for a card game? Hey, <sighs> move it! Let's finish this. My rear guard Vermilion attacks Emperor. <gasps> Damage trigger check. Second check. <laughs> and as usual, you've got all the luck in the world. That avalanche. Oh no. They're done for. It's Q! They both survived! Oh man, that was close. Too close, but you made it. Why did you pull me out of there? Well, I couldn't just leave. I hope you're not expecting a thank you. Uh, hey now! <laughs> Considering you can still talk trash, I'd say you're not injured. <laughs> I'll make sure that saving me is the biggest mistake of your life. Mark my words, Kai, one day I will beat you. Why?
Wait, Kai! You're gonna leave? Shouldn't you stick around and talk some sense into that guy? Not today. Huh? I need to continue on my journey, but our paths will cross again. He's one of the best I've ever faced. Interesting. The Bigfoot was what I came looking for, but I found something better. Your passion for Vanguard has inspired me. Until we meet again. Kai, you're out there getting stronger. I'll do the same. You'll see. Are you that worried about Kai? Uh, kinda. <laughs> you shouldn't be, because if he were here, he'd totally give you a hard time. You know, he'd say something like, Aichi, keep your mind on your own battles. <laughs> Am I right? Whoa, Miwa, that impression was perfect. Nice! Next time, a visit from Tetsu. Tetsu storms into Card Capital, the general of Team Asteroids in my shop battling my friends. It's almost too much to handle. 